You know, every time we look at a humanoid's title, mm -hmm. I wonder if this is going to be the one. The one that we don't like. <laughs> you know, is the story not going to be up to scratch? Is, is the artwork not going to thrill us? It's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. And now we're previewing a new title from Humanoids called Clockworks. Yeah, and what do you reckon, Al? Is this steampunk adventure the story that's going to break the mold? It is not. No, it's no. really not. It's pretty much another home run for humanoids here. I was sold very early on in this book on the artwork alone. Jean-Baptiste Hostache has done a beautiful job. Within the first few pages, we've seen a beautifully detailed panorama of London in 1899. We've seen a likewise fantastically detailed robot and then a ship in a storm. And it was that image that really locked me in. Yeah, I know. That sense of motion mm -hmm. in that storm image is really quite special. But I'm glad you mentioned the detail. Mm -hmm. Because when you're doing a steampunk story, the intricacy of the machinery is so important. Yeah. In Clockworks more than most, because the focus of the story is largely on massive robot suits referred to as clocks. The clocks were developed by a shadowy organisation that call themselves the Golden Shell, who are seeking an element called Lucifernium, which powers the suits and is also the greatest source of energy on the planet. But what would an evil organisation bent on world domination be without a plucky group of adventurers out to stop them? <laughs> Apart from successful, obviously. Yeah. Mm. In this case, the good guys are led by Molly Vane, a former employee of the Golden Shell. She's stolen a number of their robot suits and plans to use them to foil their plans. She leads a team of robot pilots against them, including a disgraced ex-policeman called Matt Thoreau, who has his own very personal reasons to hate the bad guys. Yeah, so obviously there's an extensive cast of characters <laughs> here, both in Molly's crew and in the Golden Shell. And that can be a slight problem in that the supporting characters, some of their personalities and motivations weren't quite as fleshed out as I wanted them to be. Okay. That said, the leads are fully realised characters that you feel instinctively drawn to. I think the writers, Jason Henderson, Tony Salvaggio and Izu, have created a really fantastic adventure story yeah. that you can either fire straight through on the action or spend hours on just drinking in the artwork. <laughs> this is obviously a buy from me. Now, I didn't have the problem with the personalities. I think everybody was fleshed out enough without anything becoming over laboured. <laughs> if there's any criticism, I would have just liked some more robot fighting. But as this is volume one and there is a volume two, I can only presume that there's going to be a little bit more in that volume, mm. which happens in China, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that looks cool. This is definitely a buy from me as well. I just enjoyed this so much and it is a welcome addition to my humanoids titles. <laughs>